Mr. Beagley. Hey there guys and gals, it's Grabeagly with another episode of Gaming with Grabeagly, and I'm once again playing the game Lily, Child of Geos. Now last episode I battled some of the most difficult spirits in this game so far. I actually lost the battle, which was crazy, I didn't ever expect to do that in this game. But we now have to go meet the greeter here in Mill Hill, so that we can get to the bottom of the source of the mayor's power, which I believe is that lighthouse, I think that's what they were saying, or maybe it was the windmill in the middle of town, I forgot which one. But we basically have to go shut it down, that will prevent anyone, and by anyone I mean the uh, the mayor from controlling them anymore, and by them I mean the constructs. Wow, I can completely use proper nouns and everything. Um, <laughs> so we're going to go to Mill Hill here, and uh, I think this is the way, this is the way to Mill Hill, correct? Yeah, there we go. That sign tells us so. And our game will freeze up again, because that's what it always does. Whenever we change areas in this, no idea why. I still don't know why. Alright, so, I think we're, like, right near the end of this game, which is really, really nice. Like, I enjoy this one a lot. I really, really do. But, at the same time, I'd love to move on to a different game. Trainer sent me. He said you might know how I can take the windmill down. Well, for a while now, I've had this plan. Yeah? There was, there's a guard standing in front of the power controls. He will only let spirits gain access, so you need to find a disguise. There's no way I'll ever pass for a spirit. They're huge compared to me. Spirits essentially guards are very, um, not smart, after all. So, that should be easy. Thankfully, I know of someone who might be willing to part with a spirit disguise. Oh, it's probably that dude in the house. Great, where do I find them? Go look for a house near the wall that separates Mill Hill from Surfside. There's a construct hiding in the house named Barkbat. Tell him I sent you. Yeah, we already met Barkbat. He's like, uh, up over here or something. Yeah. Pretty sure he's like, oh, it has it marked on the map. God, it makes it even easier. All right, we, we already have, like, spirit masks, though, so I don't know why we'd have to borrow his. Like, we, we actually, like, if we go into our inventory... Oops, that's the wrong key. Um, if we go into our inventory, we can actually change our mask to a spirit mask. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, see, look at that. Half circle mask. I guess they're not really that spirity. They're not the same, the exact same as the spirits, but... Like, look at that one. That looks pretty spirity. Or that one. Oh my god, we're, we're using that. We're using that. I don't even care. <laughs> Hello, fellow spirit. Oh my god, she puts it on the back of her head. <laughs> so that disguise actually work? It's not a disguise. Hello. I know who you are, Bug Bat. The greeter said you could help me. Oh, um, well, yes, usually this disguise works. On the spirits, at least. Though, I don't try to get too close. How come other masks don't work? Masks seem easy to come by here on Geos. Yeah, like the giant one hanging off the back of my head. <laughs> Only a special white mask like this will trick the spirits. The colorful ones are just for fun. Why are you in disguise? You ever heard of the spirit Redgum? He and his cronies were responsible for wrecking all the homes in Surfside. No, that's awful. So I came up with a plan to get back at him. I decided to put my art skills to use. I made this guard mask myself. I used to sneak into Mill Hill. Now I'm here to wreck his house. Though, I think I've lost the nerve. <laughs> What's stopping you? If they ever found out, well, I don't want to think about it. But, what if you took care of Redgum? Gladly, but if I take care of Redgum, I want something in return. How about that guard mask? If you do that for me, you can definitely have this guard mask. I can always make another. Yep. I'm on it. Alright, cool. So let's go beat up Redgum. Aw, oh, yeah. We got another mission. Oops, that was a gate that I can't get through. All right, which one's Red Gum? Which one, indeed? So does that mean I just like run around till I find one? Ha! Are you Red Gum? Tell me. Tell me, or I'll rip out all your flowers, which I'll do anyway. Whoa. Get out of here, you freaking thorns! Ow, thorns hurt the hand. Oh gosh, coin frenzy. Ooh, coin frenzy's good. I don't mind coin frenzy. Ow, I missed all the coins though. Mother of piss. Uh oh, bomb! Shit. And I grabbed a thorn, and I missed the white flower. Not doing too hot here, guys. Ah, Get out of here. White flower? Yes. Now we can get the red flower and leave this stupid spirit in peace. <laughs> and by peace, I mean we just destroyed all of his flowers. I've heard of your kind. You think you're so much better. Oh, yes, I have your number, kid. All right, see you later, buddy. Yeah, that was red gum. I only got one star, but that's okay. I'm fine with that. 
Age 36, Fax eats toothpaste. At least his breath will be very fresh. Can't figure out doors, but knows he doesn't like them. He, his surly nature is unleashed on this entourage of doorman constructs. Ah, that's rude. All right, cool. Yeah, take that red gum. All right, that was easy. He doesn't like doors. That's probably why he hasn't been back to his house yet to kick that, that guy out, that construct out. This was the house, right? Nope, it's not. I see it on the map. God, this mask is ridiculous. It's so huge. Yeah, I don't even care. Get out of here. I'm not trying to fight you idiots. You dumb idiot spirits. Oh, yeah, let's just walk through a wall. That's good. <laughs> Make things faster, that's for sure. I put an end to that awful red gum. Whoa, thank you so much. I know Surfside will be grateful. This guard mask belongs to you now. Put it, put it to good use. Oh, I promise it will. Thank you, Barkbat. Aw, oh, yeah. Oh, he's just like a regular dude. Hey, what up, regular dude? All right, so let's go ahead and we'll put on that spirit mask, or I guess we'll just change the wrong thing. Wait, pets? Do I have pets? <gasps> Nobby. Oh, that's right. That's like the Navi, or Navi, um, like, version of, like, little fairy thing that I got from the gamer guy. That's funny. So that's like the spirit from Zelda Ocarina of Time. All right, so... Let's find the mask. Where's the right mask? Ah, Barkbat's mask. Oh, God. This one's pretty ridiculous, too, so I'm okay wearing this one. All right, so let's go to this checkpoint. Hello, sir. Could I have just used an invisible potion and gotten by him? <laughs> Sweet, merciful Mag McGillicuddy, you are the tiniest spirit I've ever seen. Oh, I am? It just so happens that I'm the mayor's sister. Are you saying our family is tiny? Oh, um, I, uh, no. I was just on my way to pick up some new shoes for the mayor. Er, uh, but the mayor doesn't even have feet? <laughs> oh, so now you say he doesn't have feet? Oh, God, um... <laughs> you, you know what? I think you should go pick up his shoes and bring them straight to him. But the Switch, I... Go to Shoppington's now, and when you give those shoes to the mayor, I want you to tell him how nice his feet are. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. Oh, Lily, you trickster. She's so spunky. Time to hit the switch. Oh, it didn't even make me do it. Very cool. Windmill stopped. So the windmill is the source of his power over the constructs, is what they were saying. So now the constructs should have, like, some free will, I guess? Oh, I used the mask to do it. But I still have the mask. It duplicated. It's growing. All right, cool. So uh, I got rid of the windmill, so where do I go now? I missed my mission. What did it say? I... Windmill's down, go tell the trainer. I had a feeling that's what I had to do. All right, well, cool. <laughs> that was that. We'll get out of here now, and hopefully none will be the wiser. Am I going the right way? I don't think I'm going the right way. Ah, no, that's not where I go. Yeah, this is the right way. This is where I came from. Maybe we'll pick up a crystal while we're at it. Two crystals, in fact. Oh yeah, baby. And kick the pot. We have to kick the pot. If you don't kick the pot, you're doing something wrong. Come on. All right, so. Ah, yes, here we go. Surfside door. I'm going to wear this mask to give the oogity boogities to all the spirits, or all the constructs. They're going to be so scared of me. All right, so. Trainer's house. All the way on the opposite end, of course. All the way over here. Just got to... Uh-oh. What the hell? Oh, the mayor. Uh-oh, it's on. Slaughterhorn, Buttercup. Seize her. Uh-oh. <gasps> do I have to do something? Quick time event? Can I battle them? Defeat the mayor. Oh, okay, cool. So I can just, like, uh, jump on his back and kill him? Like he's a spirit? Like a regular spirit? That's awesome. I don't know what all these are, but we're picking them. Take this, mayor. Douchebag. Yeah, that's right. All your stupid little leaves are gone. Now what? Oh, you're just a regular spirit under it all. Ha <laughs> ha! Ah, there's one white flower. Oh, God. Oh, gosh. Oh, what? What are you going to do? Bomb frenzy! Shit! Oh, I'm bad with bomb frenzy. Oh, God. Shedding fudge! Oh, balls! Oh, there's too many bombs. Stop moving, you stupid shithead! Oh, God. <sighs> Thorn frenzy. Good. Because I needed that, too. Definitely not going to lose this one. And by definitely not, I mean I'm definitely going to. This sucks. Anus hole. 
Get off of here, bombies. No one wants you here. So, oh, God, let me grab it. Thank you. Oh, I didn't even freaking grab it in time. My grip's almost th down completely. Okay, what's that do? Did you say shame on you? Is that what he just said to me? Freaking asshole. Your impudence has cost you dearly, Lily. Yeah? Every missed swipe weakens your grip. Yeah, well, I, I have a lot of those freaking missed swipes because of this shit. All right. Yes, I went invisible. He'll never know where I am. Yes, and I stun him with a bomb, apparently. Take this! Bombs to the face, bitch! Alright. Not trying to miss, he just moves his stupid face around a lot. Alright. Yeah, bomb out of there first. Ah, fucker. Stop. God, he's a douchebag. Here, take a bomb to the face. I don't know if that worked. Ow! Okay, every time I pull a white flower, at least, it seems to give me back some of my grip a little bit. So we'll keep that in mind. Oh, yeah, okay, sweet. Ow, fucking thorn. Ugh. Any more white flowers? Ugh. This is an intense battle, guys, I gotta say. Nope. You know, every time you use the bombs, I didn't realize when I use my own bomb weapon, it gets rid of a lot of his crap. It gets rid of his bombs or whatever's on there. So I don't even have to worry about getting those. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Take off his top hat. Take your damn red flower. Bitch. Got him. Yeah. <laughs> the impudence. The sheer disregard for civility. The utter disrespect for authority. How dare you. Yeah, that's right, Mayor. Get the hell out of here, man. I don't even care that I only got one flower star. I won that. God, that was hard. It was really tough. It was way harder than it looks, guys, to do all that stuff. Because they're moving around, and every time you miss a swipe, you lose some of your grip. And every time you grab a thorn, or every time a bomb goes off, you lose a massive amount of your grip and your combos. So, damn. Age 62, you should really know who the mayor is by now. <laughs> all right, cool. See you later. Hell yeah! We got our fairy flying around us, too. Oh, Mailbot. Hello. Lily, you've done it! The mayor has been utterly vanquished! There may be some sort of political power vacuum or insurgency or something, but still, awesome job! <laughs> oh good, so she's sort of like a civil war, probably. Hmm, unless there's riots or something, maybe we should create police patrols. We could hire Slaughterhorn! Anyway, kudos, you sh saved us all! <laughs> um, thanks, I think. Wait, what? <laughs> Nothing, never mind. I'm sure it'll all be great. Mailbot, I want you to take a letter for me. It's long distance. Cool. You have a letter you want me to send? Sure, anything for our hero. Here, go on. I know you want to read it. Dear Professor, Dad, I've always wanted you to be proud of me. I've lived my life as an extension of your career, but all my achievements could never live up to the Pettigrew family name. Dad, remember when you told me to pick one thing and do it well? I never picked, but I am now. I don't know what's out there for me. I don't know what lies over the horizon. It's terrifying, and I could fail utterly, but I know something is calling. I'm going to be a part of it. Lily. P.S. I'm taking the boat. I'll return it when I can. I love you. Aw, how sweet. Follow your dreams, guys. Make your dreams come true. She was ahead of Shia LaBeouf's time. Thanks, big guy. <laughs> Anytime. See you later. <laughs> Wait, why am I upgrading a stat? Like, what? it doesn't really matter at this point. Aw, oh, yeah. Okay, what did it say my goal was? Proceed to my boat. I wonder, you know, it's interesting because I wonder if this was meant to be like a series of games. Because this is Lily, Child, and Geos. I wonder if there's like another game in the works or if there is another game in the works that's like Lily something something else instead. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, I would dig that if there was another one of these. This was really freaking fun. I, I liked it a lot. There's so much to do in it, and just, hey, see you later, drug lady. Just, I don't know, it was it was a blast. I enjoyed this one. So I think we're right here at the end of the game. I'm going to pick some flowers before I go. These are souvenirs. You guys can't keep me from taking these. They're free. They're mine. All right. I'm the hero of the town. I can do what I want. Okay. Anyway, so um, I don't even remember how to get out of here. Why would I? I'm not beating you up. Don't worry, man. I don't need to beat up spirits right now. Ah, yes. Now I can go all the way down to the beach. Ah, oh, man. This game, it's its really beautiful, too. You know, like, I've said that a couple times now, but, like, the graphics in this, for being something that's, uh, you know, originally was a mobile game and was ported to PC, it looks great. 
I like it a lot. Any unique dialogue if I talk to these guys? You know, if you're a treasure hunter, you should check out that locked gate here on the beach. I've been trying to figure out what's in there, but I can't seem to unlock it. Thanks for the tip. If I find a key, I'll definitely be back. I can't pass up treasure. I have this extra hard hat. Be safe and happy exploring. Well, thank you for the random hard hat. Also, what what chest is he talking about? I don't know. Here, let's talk to Gamer Guy again. Hello. Those guys are going to be in so much trouble. Oh yeah, we we already talked to him about that. Oh, playing video games instead of plotting to leave Geos. Well, you know those things happen. Oh God, bell ringer. Lily friend, you are bona fide. You are. Me so delighted. Little bad man, not turn me into big pile now. You're welcome, Woodzilla. I couldn't have done it without you, Woodzilla. <laughs> I was wondering, now that you're free, what are your plans? Hmm. I not have big thoughts on topic. All I know is hit things, hit bell. <laughs> I've profoundly driven to hit bell. <laughs> Perhaps you should consider a career in music. Maybe a big drummer is what Geos needs. That not right bad idea. Me always have sense of rhythm and pump iron to Swedish death metal. <laughs> oh, bell ringer. Maybe I make band. Call it Drums of Forsaken. That just hardcore. Bye, Lily. Sorry I yell at you. Me would hug you, but not want crush you into stain. <laughs> oh, bell ringer, you're the best, man. I appreciate that. Goodbye. I'll miss you, big soul. Rock on. Aw. All right, trainer, what do you have to say to me? A young sapling no more. You return now, a great basin bristlecone pine. Huh? It's a huge tree. Take the compliment. <laughs> Thanks, trainer. Um, are you still trainer? I guess you can do whatever you want once you get repaired. <laughs> Indeed. The paths of fate are overwhelming, truly. For years, I've longed to create the Geos Ballet. Once I am whole again, I'll take the name Bill. Ballet Bill. I like that. It's macho, yet soft. <laughs> Brilliant, Bill. Glad to meet you. I think it's about time to leave Geos. There's still a few loose end spirits bounding about. I might mop them up. That's up to you, friend. You make your own objectives now. But don't worry about those stragglers if you don't want. With the mayor's statue down, the spirit's power is broken. We can handle our own now. We're free. Yep. Don't let things get out of hand, okay? And for heaven's sake, don't start a police force with Slaughterhorn. <laughs> Hmm, that's not a bad idea. Okay, off with you. Well potted. I'm not coming back to clean up another mess. Know that. <laughs> Bye, Bill. Aw. See you later, guys. Thanks for all the fun times and whatnot. Shit. <laughs> Alright. Oh, the fishy guy. He's gonna talk to me anyway. Good luck with everything, Lily. It was nice to meet someone like you. May your journey lead you to more great adventures. Thank you, Information Fish. For all your help, spread some of your knowledge to the constructs. <laughs> Aw. Uh, oh, and Mailbot's gonna stop me too. Come on. Lily! I was wondering if you're going to see me off. I wouldn't have missed it for the world. We'll miss you around here. Are you sure you're going to be okay on the boat? Yep. You bet. I never felt more sure of anything. The world is my oyster. Never understood that saying, but hey, be safe and be sure to write. I will, Mailbot. You can count on it. Don't let those last couple spirits get the better of you, okay? You show them what's what. You bet! Thanks, big guy. Anytime! See you later. Aw, she's saying goodbye to everyone. Alright, guys. We're about to take our boat and leave, it looks like. And go forge onward onto more Lily adventures. Hopefully, like I said, I would love to play a sequel to this if there is one out there. This was a really fun game. And that was that, guys. That's the ending to the game. It, it was kind of anticlimactic. There wasn't a lot that happened. It wasn't like the mayor got super punished. He just got destroyed by having his flowers ripped out, which I guess maybe slays them. I don't know if that actually kills the spirits or what, but regardless, you know, it, it was a very... I wouldn't even say cliche game. It was a very simple game. It was an incredibly basic game uh, with very basic elements to it, but it was just still really freaking fun. Now I can explore the island of Geos freely. Cool. So in my free time, I can just run around and meet everyone, fight the straggling spirits, etc. So uh, that looks like that's something that I'll do on my own. That was the ending to Lily Child of Geos, guys. It was a lot of fun. I had a blast playing this game. I hope that you guys had a blast watching it. 
excuse me, I got the burpees right here at the end, of course, as I'm trying to sign off. Um, but yeah, like I said, great graphics, really wonderful uh, music. I like the music in this game. I like uh, just everything about it. I like the characters. I love the dialogue. I love just how casual and carefree this game feels. And how many things there were to do. There were so many side quests. There were so many battles you could fight. There were so many different ways to meet the objective of getting X number of red flowers in each area, which was great. At the same time, this game was incredibly basic. I know that a lot of people were probably turned off by the fact that it was so simple and childlike almost. But... It was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it a lot. Every now and then I like to kick back with a game like this. So I'll probably replace this one in my current rotation of games with another adventure game, possibly another obscure adventure game. I have no idea yet. I gotta look through what adventure games I have. But if you guys enjoyed this series, please be sure to hit the like button, share the video and favorite it. Also be sure to subscribe to me if you guys haven't already. For those of you who have, thank you so much for all of your support. You guys are the best in the world. I love every single one of you. And as always, it was great seeing ya. Bye bye They're a little creepy. Yeah, like negative emotion, maybe. Uh-oh. Oh, no. I think I made a boo-boo. Oh, fuck. No.